how are you today we are going to make an application you know which will take two different dates and display the result of those two dates in the form of a list uh, day wise so what uh, the use of this app can be made in various different places like you're creating a true do app in which you know you have different dates you have different days you can select those days and update the information inside them according to that so i've created a basic thing for you already here you know, I've just created a scaffold. I have an app bar. I have a button here. I'll tell you the function of this button. Why I've created this? So I've created two uh, dates here: start date and end date. They are both of type date time. So what we are going to do now is we are going to create a function that is going to be called get days in between. So what this function is going to do is this function is going to take these two dates and you know calculate the difference in days, whatever it comes out to be as per the calculation. So I'm going to create a variable of type integer. I'm calling it difference. And what this will do is this will take the start date. And it will calculate the difference as per the end date. And this is going to return that to us in the form of days. All right, so this is it. I'm going to print the difference here. And this function will return this difference. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to create a list of type date time that is going to generate those days. So what I'll do is I'll call this list items and this will be list of type date time. And this is going to generate so length i'll just tell you what the length would be and as for the index the index will i'll just name it as i okay so this length is going to come from the function above which is this function which says get days in between so we are going to take it here get days in between and let me just end this here okay so now what's going to go inside this will be we'll be taking a date time and I'm just going to mention its date and this is going to be according to the start date. And what this is going to do is this is going to return date. We are going to add and add will be done in the form of duration and the duration will be as per the days and the days will be as per the index which we have named as I. So this finishes our two functions here. Now we are going to create the body. We are going to make it visible on the screen. And about this icon button, this on press function, this is going to, I'm just going to put this get days in between function here just to check what is the difference that uh, this is returning us. So let me just put this in here. Okay, so now when I save this, I click this here. Okay, so it's giving me flutter 59. So the days in between, it's giving me as 59. So about the scaffold, I'll create a body here. So the body of the scaffold is going to be a column. Uh, it's going to be a list view. So the list view dot builder. Okay, so item builder, we will look at it later. The first thing we would need to do is we'll need an item count. So the item count is going to be as per the index. So as per the list, this item is returning. So this is going to be items dot length. Okay, so I'll also add shrink wrap here so that it looks fine. Okay, so now the item builder. Item builder is going to take a build context of type context and an integer of type index. So let me just put that here. It's going to take a build context of type context text and an integer of type index so what this is going to do is this will be returning our items the list in the form of list style so I'm going to return a column here so this column will have a child I'll put a card in here so that it looks better so what this card is going to do is it will take one more child of type list child Okay, you can see that it's already created all those things here. So what we are going to do is we are going to give it a title. 
so title will be of type text and the text will be of type day so and this is going to return items from the index of items and it's going to return us the day value so once I save this here let me just close this okay so now uh, once I save this here you can see that it is giving us all those details so this is day one day two day three day four as per this all right so now we are going to do one more thing we are going to give it a trailing widget here so what this trailing widget will take it will ag again take a text and inside the text we are going to be returning the date so how we are going to be returning the date is we are going to take this we are going to take the items sorry items of uh, index that is going to be day and then I just put a slash here and then again you know, I just copy this so that I don't have to write this again and again so here I'm going to take the month and then again I'll put this here and here I'm going to return the year okay so now once I save this you can see so it's also returning us the dates different dates and what this is doing is this is returning us the dates based on the dates we have mentioned here so now if I just change this let's say I just give it February and March so now it only going to return us the details for the March so this was a pretty easy example but you can use this uh, you know function this project in various different cases and do let me know in comments how you like this video let me know if i need to do anything more specific if you want me to create video on something more specific and if there are any changes that you would like me to make here so thank you once again all of you i hope you have a good day bye bye